To finish off the paper, we have got a question on modelling a nasty-looking function here involving the amount of yeast. So, G represents the amount of yeast in grams, and that is a function um, contingent on a few variables. So, we've got uh, G of T is equal to 10 minus K, which is a constant, multiplied by C, which is a constant, to the power of negative t, where t is the time in minutes. And we are told the initial amount of yeast in the solution is 2 grams. And from that, we are asked to find the value of k. So if we look at our uh, function here, we are told that the initial amount of yeast in the solution is 2 grams. So whenever you see initial, we can imply from that that the time is equal to 0. So we know that g of 0 is the amount of yeast, initial amount of yeast, which we know is 2. So we're going to say 2 is equal to 10 minus k, we don't know. Now c, we don't know what c is, but we do know that t is equal to 0. And we know that anything to the power 0 is 1. So uh, this, whole, this whole term here, c to the minus 2, that is going to end up just being 1. So we've got 2 equals 10 minus k. So hopefully you can see that we can rearrange that to get k is equal to 8. In part b then, similarly we're told the amount of yeast in the solution after 3 minutes is 9 grams. So uh, we can say that 9 grams is equal to 10 minus k, but we know what k is. k is 8 multiplied by c, which we don't know, to the power negative 3. So we now just need to solve this equation for c. So if we rearrange it, we can say that 8c to the negative 3, so if I take that over that side there, and then bring the 9 over, so 10 minus 9 is 1. So I've got this 8c to the power negative 3 is equal to 1. c to the negative 3, remember that's 1 over c cubed. So what I've actually got is 8 over c cubed is equal to 1. So therefore 8 is equal to c cubed. So therefore c is the cubed root of 8, which is equal to 2. Finally, then in part C, write down, again, it means you shouldn't have to do too much to work this out, write down the maximum amount of yeast in the solution. Now, you can see here we have got uh, an asymptote. This is an, an asymptote. So the function is getting closer and closer towards this point here. So you can either just use your GDC. Now you've got the function. So you, you could plot y equals 10 minus 8 brackets 2 to the power negative x. So you can actually plot that on your calculator and then just look at the, at the values of y and see that they tend towards uh, um, 10.